real pleasure to be here with you today, here in Abington Square, in the heart of Northampton, once again, for the 17th annual ceremony in tribute to Charles Bradlow. Bradlow was a radical Republican member of parliament for his Northampton constituency. For many years, during the Napoleon III Empire, the world Republican, forbidden in France, was replaced by radical. Bradlow was a free thinker. In 1858, Bradlow became president of the London Secular Society, succeeding George Jacob Hollyhock. And two years later, he became co-editor of the National Reformer, which under his leadership became dedicated to atheism, republicanism, and contraception. In 1866, he conceived and founded the National Secular Society and became its first president. As it has been told during the lecture, Charles Bradlow was a pioneer, fighting for reason, full democratic rights, equal rights between women and men, independence of long-time oppressed nation as Ireland and India. Two years ago, in 16, I declare here, in front of this Bradlow monument, after decades of division or isolation, the strong effort of leaders of both National Secular Society of Great Britain and La Libre Pensée for France gave the opportunity to launch a new Free Thought International in a Congress held in Oslo, Norway in August 2011. And I invited you to join the new International Association of Free Thought. The Charles Bradlow Society <coughs> sent a brotherly message to International Association of Research, 7th World Congress, last year, in September 2017, in Paris. History, I quote, history has produced men like Bradlow, who courageously challenged corruption, all too commonly found in institutions such as the church, the monarchies, and governments. Here in UK, the people choose to leave the European Union as a rejection of its corruption and not as a retreat into isolation. In effect, being an iconolistic act, now is the time for modern-day Bradlows to attack those institutions which erroneously believe they have a divine right to dictate to the people how to live. End of quotation. I'm glad to salute here the Charles Bradlow Society and member of International Association of Research International Council, Andrew Withers. So, on behalf of the French National Federation of Research, La Libre Pensée, we have to pay tribute to the great Charles Bradlow. In our last national convention held near Nantes at the, the end of last August, we launched a public statement answering this simple question. Which republic will save republicanism and secularism? And we decide to fight in France for a sovereign constituent assembly. As you wrote in your message, Charles Bradlow is an icon for free thinkers all around the world. Congratulations to the Charles Bradlow Society for this memorable day. Thanks for your welcome. And as we say in France, salut et fraternité.